in this video i will discuss characteristics equations of flip flops so characteristic equations of flip flops or the latches are same characteristic equation gives the relation between present state and next state of the flip flops along with the inputs so let me consider the first flip flop that is sr flip flop we'll see how to how to find the characteristic equations of sr flip flop so already we have studied about clocked sr flip flop this is the truth table of clocked sr flip flop this already i have explained in my clocked sr flip flop video this is truth truth table it is also known as function table this is truth table so as we know in sr flip flop s and r are the inputs qn is present state of the flip flop qn plus 1 indicates next state of the flip flops so in short we'll represent qn as q next state of the flip flop we will represent it as say q plus so in edge triggering flip flop it will work along with the positive edges of the clock let me assume the positive edges of the clock so here if s is 0 r is 0 and if present state of the flip flop is 0 then next state of the flip flop will be 0 if s is 0 r is 0 if present state is 1 then next state is 1 that is in flip flop in sr flip flop if both the inputs are 0 0 then next state is same as present state that is no change if s is 0 and r is 1 suppose present state of the flip flop is 0 then next state will be 0 if present state is 1 next state will be 0 that is called flip flop is in reset state if s input is 1 and r input is 0 in both the cases if qn or present state is 0 then next state will be 1 if present state is 1 next state will be 1 it indicates the flip flop is set this is the reset and here flip flop will set here it is no change if both the inputs are 1 1 then flip flop is in not defined state generally it is known as indeterminate state so after writing the truth table we have to consider s r q n as the input and we have to derive the truth table for q plus so here we have three inputs so we need 2 power 3 that is 8 cell so the inputs are s r and q n let me take s yes here so this is s yes. here i will consider r and q n q n i will in short i will represent it as q so this is cell number 0 1 this is 2 3 we have 4 5 6 and 7 so as we know this is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 with respect to s this is 0 and 1 so now here we can see that s equal to 0 r equal to 0 qn equal to 0 that is nothing but cell number 0 its value is 0 similarly 0 0 1 that is cell number 1 its value is 1 0 1 0 cell number 2 its value is 0 0 1 1 cell number 3 its value is 0 cell number 1 0 0 cell number 4 its value is 1 1 0 1 is 5 cell number 5 is 1 cell number 6 is don't care cell number 7 is don't care now we'll do the grouping we'll try to simplify this so this one one along with xs can make a quad so value of this is yes so this one and this one together we can make a pair so value of this will be here we can see that this one and this one make a pair so its value will be its along with the column its values are r bar q r bar q so therefore we can say that qn plus 1 or q plus q plus is equal to we have s plus r bar q s plus r bar q so this is same as qn plus 1 that is next state of the flip flop will be equal to s plus r bar q so if we substitute value of s r and q value we'll get the q plus which will be the same truth table so characteristic equation for sr flip flop is 
qn plus 1 or q plus is equal to s plus r bar q. Similarly, le now let me consider characteristic equation of d flip flop. So, this is the truth table of d flip flop. This is truth table also known as function table. So, for simplification purpose, I will use qn as q, qn plus 1 as q plus. So, in d flip flop, d is input of the flip flop, qn is the present state of the flip flop and qn plus 1 is next state of the flip flop. If d input is 0, if present state of the flip flop is 0, then next state will be 0. If present state of the flip flop is 1, then next state will be 0. Similarly, if flip flop input is 1, if present state of the flip flop is 0, then next state of the flip flop will be 1. If present state of the flip flop is 1, then next state will be 1. Here we can observe that qn plus 1 follows d input. Here we can see first column and last column are same. That is qn plus 1 will be equal to d. Now we will verify the same thing by, imp by simplifying characteristic equation. So here we have two variables. We need four cell K map. So this is the four cell K map. The inputs are D and QN. D, QN is nothing but I will take it as Q. So this is cell number 0, 1. This is 0, 1. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. That is 0, 0 is 0. 0, 1 is 1. 1, 0 is 2. 1, 1 is 3. So when D is 0, QN is 0, 0, 0. Cell number 0 value is 0. 0, 1, cell number 1 is 0, 1, 0, that is 2, cell number 2 is 1, 1, 1, cell number 3 is 1. So, let me simplify this. So, here this one and this one together make a pair. So, here value of this is D. So, therefore, now we can write QN plus 1 or Q plus is equal to D, that is output follows input. In flip flop, next state of the flip flop is same as input of the flip flop. Therefore, similarly, now let me consider characteristic equation of JK flip flop. This is the truth table of JK flip flop. So, in JK flip flop, we have JK are the inputs, QN is present state. For simplification, I will use it as Q. This as Q plus indicate next state. So in JK flip flop, if J and K of the inputs are 0, 0, if present state of the flip flop is 0, then next state will be 0. If present state is 1, next state will be 1. That is, there is no change in the output. When inputs are 0, 0, there is no change in the input. If inputs 0, 1, J and K are 0, 1, if present state is 0, next state will be 0. If present state is 1, next state will be 0. It means when k is 1, flip flop is reset. This is nothing but reset. Similarly, if j is 1 and k is 0, if present state is 0, flip flop will set. If present state is 1, it will be followed the same thing. So, when j is 1, k is 0, flip flop will set. This is set. So, in, in jk flip flop, if both the inputs are 1, 1, then flip flop will toggle. That is, if present state is 0, next state will be 1. If present state is 1, next state will be 0. That is called toggling. The flip-flop will toggle. Now, we will try to implement the characteristic equation. So, here we have 3 inputs, J, K and Q, N. So, we need 8 cell K map. This is 8 cell K map. The inputs are J, K and Q. This is J, K and Q. Let me write the cell numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, 0, 0, 0 in cell number 0 value is 0. In cell number 1 value is 1. 0, 1, 0 that is 2. Its value is 0. 0, 1, 1 is 3. Its value is 0. 1, 0, 0 that is 4. Its value is 1. 1, 0, 1, that is 5, its value is 1. 1, 1, 0, that is 6, its value is 1. And 1, 1, 1, that is 0. 
Now let me simplify this K map. So here, this one and this one I can make a, so this is 0, 1. This one and this one I can make a pair. This is 1 and this one. So here it will be with respect to row its value is J. With respect to column, compare first column and last column. Common term is Q. Common term is 0. 0 is with respect to Q. That is nothing but Q bar. So here these two are 1, 1. I can make a pair. So its value will be, it is with respect to this column that is K bar Q. K bar Q. So therefore, now we can write next state of the flip-flop that is Qn plus 1 is same as Q plus is equal to J Q bar plus K bar Q. J Q bar plus K bar Q. So this is the characteristic equation of JK flip-flop. Now let me consider the characteristic equation of T flip-flop. So this is the truth table of T flip-flop. T flip-flop is nothing but toggle flip-flop. So here in toggle flip-flop we have only one input. Already I have explained in my video about clocked T flip-flop. So according to that I have obtained this truth table. So here Qn is nothing but present state Q and Q plus is next state. So in T flip-flop, if T is 0, Qn is 0, output is same as Qn. If T is 0, Qn is 1, output is same as Qn. There is no change in the next state. Next state follows the present state. In T flip-flop, if T input is 1, then the output will toggle. If input is 0, if present state is 0, next state will be 1. If present state is 1, next state will be 0. So this will be, this will toggle. Now we will try to get the characteristic equation. So here we have two variable T and Q. We need four cell K map. This is four cell K map. The inputs are T and QN. This is T, this is Q, 0, this is 1, 0, 1. Cell numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3. So now 0, 0. The value of cell number 0 is 0. Zero, 1. Cell number 1, its value is 1. 1, 0. Cell number 2, its value is 1. 1, 1. Cell number 3, its value is 0. Let me simplify this. So here we have 1. So single we have to consider. Here we have to consider. We cannot make pair or quad. The value of this will be T Q bar. This one is with respect to row 1 column 0. That is T Q bar. T Q bar. And here its value is this is with respect to row 0 column 1. That is T bar Q. So therefore we can write next state value of the flip flop as Q n plus 1 or Q plus is equal to we have T T Q bar plus T bar Q, T bar Q. So this is nothing but T X or Q. So this is the characteristic equation of T flip flop. So in my all videos already I have explained edge triggered JK flip flop, SR flip flop, D flip flop and T flip flop. So one can refer to understand this truth table. Thank you for watching.